now for the real reason I'm cutting. So I have this really cool T-Track stuff. And I need some miters on the ends. And the miters are angles I just cannot cut on my saw. That just they don't have a way to cut such a shallow angle like that. It's a long one, so I decided to use the machine to do it. Here we are. More noise. Okay, so uh, imagine you've seen me cut the aluminum pieces, you've seen this, that part of the video, and now you're probably going, why the heck did you cut those funny angles on that aluminum? Well, if I can bury your imagination for just a second, you're going to see what, I'm going on, what I've got going here. I'm going to put this piece... these off here and here and the same down here and here and then I'll put three-quarter inch MDF in between each of these pieces because that sits up let me see if I've got a piece that sits up about a sixteenth maybe a little bit less than a sixteenth high and I've checked my run out of the table and it's less than a thirty second all the way through. So I'll skim the MDF with a cutter to flatten it and this will be untouched and I can hold a workpiece of any size because I have these little clamps that go in here like this so I can hold any workpiece I need. Three channels might be a little overkill but this is a whole lot stronger than that. And I'll be able to hold pieces down a lot better. And plus, it kind of looks cool. So that is what this morning's cutting was all about, was making a miter for each of these. And that is actually not a gap. That is Sharpie, which is excellent. It looks like this miter is going to hold up beautifully for my needs. More than, more than beautiful. It's going to be great because they're all about the same length. So it's going to be the X table or something. I don't know. But that's what I've been trying to cut today. And it looks like it worked. It looks like it worked very well. The only thing left then will be to cut the ends to length, um, which I may have to do on the machine as well. We'll see. These look like awfully long miters. Um, I did discover one thing I forgot I meant, forgot to mention earlier. 
I did discover how I needed to cut these on the machine so that there wasn't a big off cut to go flying. Um, I roughed them on my metal cutting bandsaw first, that's why you see the sharpies. I got them to within about a sixteenth or, or a, an eighth of the final dimension and then the last few, the last three pieces got cut after they were roughed out. But not a bad uh, morning. This was all done before about 12.30 this morning, so about three and a half, four hours. Um, the rest of the time has been editing videos, so videos take a little while. Pretty damn cool. Thanks for watching.